Oh yeah, PB blast on a water pump at night means water pump project in the morning. Good morning guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So here we are, we got good old Rec J here, aka Resurrect J. Man, it is looking good. Well, body wise anyway, that was just a facade, it's not completely put back together. I was just trying to hang the fenders and the header panel that I painted to, uh, to not let it get destroyed being kicked around in my garage. So this is where I've been keeping everything. And it's good incentive to keep going with the project because it looks so good when it's all together. But uh, yeah, here we go. This whole quarter panel is replaced. Got a new bumper bracket right here. Bumper support. And uh, there we go. We just did the, where is it? Boom. We just did that thermostat housing, new thermostat, new gasket. Um, that is looking great. And of course, while everything is apart, figured it'd be really silly of me to not just go ahead and do the water pump while we're at it. So that's what we're gonna do today on the project. We're gonna do an XJ water pump replacement now of course your xj is probably not going to look like this when you do a water pump your xj will probably look more like this so in this case i would recommend undoing the header panel we got six bolts up here we got a bolt down in here and a bolt down in there actually they're little nuts 10 millimeter nuts pop those off you would then want to disconnect your Radiator, upper and lower hose, let all that fluid go out. You'd also have to do these two 10 millimeters and these two 10 millimeters. This would unbolt your radiator support. Then that would be pretty much it once you unplug all the other little connections. You probably have to take off your trans connections, but you could swing out your whole header panel and AC condenser and your radiator to try to get some access because I can't imagine trying to get this water pump out and back on with all this crap in your way. All right, once you have exposed the front of your engine, you go ahead and loosen up your belt tensioner. <clears throat> I'm gonna take the belt off first thing. Actually, first thing is get your coffee because coffee is good in the morning. I am now a morning person. <laughs> go figure wow so uh here we go loosen up this sucker <clears throat> so this bolt right here holds your pulley in and then this bolt right here does the tensioning so you want to loosen the pulley bolt so it'll let your pulley slide up and down in this case, we want to loosen the sucker so we can get the belt off. All right, with the tension off your tensioner, just slide the belt out of the way. Make sure you take a picture of your belt routing in case you forget. There we go. Belt is out of the way. All right, now I'm gonna take off these four bolts that hold on the pulley. Now, if you don't have an impact gun, it could be beneficial to crack these bolts loose before you remove the belt. The belt kind of holds it in place. It won't let it spin, but uh, uh, impact kind of eliminates that torque. You could uh, get them off without this thing spinning on you. If you don't have an impact and you're just using good old ratchet, then uh, yeah, do that first. Look at that, see? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, I'll take this off, put this in a nice safe spot. We will be reusing these. All right, 
here's a good look at that water pump with nothing in the way mounted to the vehicle we got let's see one two three and four down there there's a four 13 millimeter fasteners then we have one and two 15 millimeter fasteners these are the bracket to hold on your tensioner and your power steering these four right here are the ones that hold the pump onto the block now if you'll notice this xj has one of these inlet tubes right there well we're just gonna have to disconnect this hose from the heater core and then this tube comes right off with the power steering pump no need to worry about this piece just yet going to go ahead and remove these three one two and three bolts in here and then there's one back way in there right there boom we're going to take that out then this whole assembly we could just lay down right there then we should have easy access to this thing all right Well, here you go guys, you're getting your power steering pump video. How about that? I probably have a power steering pump video somewhere in my archives, so feel free to scroll through my YouTube uh, videos and enjoy them. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate the views. All right, just gonna set this aside down here. Be careful, do not break this nipple. This nipple is the worst. It snaps every time, very brittle. Be very careful. Don't say I didn't warn you. We got nipple problems, especially on a cold day. They get really hard. Oh boy. And don't forget about this sneaky one right here, 15 millimeter. Yes, it is here. It will screw, <laughs> for whom the belt tunnels. Uh, it will mess with you if you forget to take it off. It is very, very sneaky. I am very, very sneaky, sir. All right, there it is. It is out. All right, we finally have unrestricted access to this water pump. Let's see if this little Dewalt can take off these pump bolts. four are loose I'm just gonna leave them in their proper orientation because they're all different sizes I think oh yeah yeah baby there we have it water pump let's see how bad it was you know what not too bad at all oh well this looks like crap <laughs> all right to the store all right guys, here are our new parts. We got the new water pump. We got our new inlet tube, much better than this crusty old one. We have a gasket that came with this water pump right there, but I don't know what kind of brand this is. I like to use Felpro. They always work great for me, never any leaks. So I got myself a Felpro gasket. Now, if you'll notice, this looks a little bit different. This is a universal gasket that fits with the TJ uh, motors the TJ and the WJ uh, motor and water pumps. It's a little different. So if you guys didn't know uh, your XJ water pump is different than your later years TJ and WJ. But uh, if you really want to make this the same, you could just snip off this hole and snip off this loop. It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you see this old gasket right here was one of them universals because it's got that extra little loop. You can see it right there, different holes for different mounts on a different engines. Even though it's a 4.0, it's different. So what we're gonna do is take our little wire wheel and we're gonna clean this whole surface up for some nice new water pump installation.
at all that nastiness. Yeah, baby. Clean this crap out. <laughs> all right. But when we mount our water pump, we're going to want to seal this up really well, and it's not going to seal if you have water oozing out of here. So uh, <laughs> I guess a leaf blower is one way to eject all the water out. So now uh, it's going to dry up on me, and uh, while it's a drying and all that crap is evaporating, we're going to clean this surface with some, uh, some brake clean. Get this really clean and oil-free. To prepare our mating surface. There we go. Get this baby squeaky clean. Yeah, now my cone is clean. I'm talking squeaky clean. All right. So I marked out my water pump gasket. This is the universal gasket, and you don't really need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just gonna cut off this ear. Don't need that one. And I marked it against the engine block. And this is what was exposed. So I'm gonna go snip this off too. There we go. Yeah, a little test fit. Looking good. All right, so we got our new water pump in the vise. What we're going to do now is we're going to install our inlet tube and this is a dormant part 56398 you can get this at any auto parts store but we keep our old water pump so we could use this as a reference to get the a proper alignment going so all right i'm going to bring you around so we could see the inlet spout all right here we go the inlet tube has this little red rtv on it if you want to put some more on, it would be my guest. I'd rather have a little too much than not enough, I suppose. But I guess you don't want to clog up your inlet tube. Here we go. Back it out a little till the thread clicks, and then you can go ahead and work it forward. There we go. That's threading in there nicely. All right, we got our 19 millimeter, and we're just gonna crank this on until it gets tight. That looks about right. I think that'll work. There, and we made sure we clamped right on here. This part is where the belt tensioner goes on. You do not want to mess up the mounting surface, so. Don't clamp that in the vise. Make sure you clamp this in the vise. And uh, there, it's ready to be installed. All right, here we go. I am going to rub some of that good RTV on my mounting surface. It's gonna follow these little lines right here around this hole. Not too thick. Just want some nice even coverage around all the bolt holes all right that will stick on our gasket and apply more RTV all right here we go we got four cleanly brushed water pump bolts uh, let's start with the long one the long one goes right here on this big meaty part which is gonna be let's see where is this it's actually gonna be ugh, this outer one right here all right and uh, we'll line everything up now is a good time to make sure that this is in the right orientation and here we go Moment of truth. Nice. All right, the next one we're gonna do is the smaller one. 
So the big one and the smaller one are adjacent to each other. Now we got the two medium-sized ones. They are both on the bottom. Now we got our 13 millimeter, and we are going to hand snug all these bolts. We're going to hand fasten all these fasteners. Yeah, 13 millimeter. She. All right, we'll let the RTV set up and we'll come back and torque them down. All right, it's been a little while. Let's crank these babies down to 17 foot pounds and we'll get this sucker nice and tight. All right, the final piece of the puzzle for your water pump is gonna be to slide your hose back on. This is the inlet, it comes out of the heater core and right here. So there we go. We will put on our hose and then, of course, after we tighten that up, you're gonna have to go ahead and plug in your lower radiator hose into this when this is all put back together. But we are gonna call that a wrap for the water pump video. Look at this shit. This Dorman water inlet is leaking at the weld from the nut to the inlet tube. Unbelievable. Great. Great.